Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Uh, today here at the Apogee Rocketry Workshop, I'm going to talk to you about polyhedral wings and how to make them. Uh, first of all, what is a polyhedral wing? Um, basically, what polyhedral means, this is a dihedral wing. This is the uh, sunward rocket glider. Um, dihedral means just two wings um, at an angle on the fuselage, which you can probably see here looking like that. Um, the Condor Boost Glider that we also sell also has dihedral for its wings. Now, a polyhedral wing, which I'm going to show you today, has multiple panels, and each panel is at an angle. And this is why it's poly. Poly means multiple. So it's polyhedral. This is dihedral, just meaning one. Um, now, the reason that this is used is because it's more efficient. Um, the dihedral is used to make sure that the rocket um, reorients itself when it's gliding so that the fuselage bottom is down um, because obviously that's the way we want to glide. Um, and the dihedral gives it, makes sure that it, um, that it will orient itself that way. Um, if the rocket is, is in a kind of a bank this way, this wing here, because it's, the air is flowing over it this way, will create more lift, lifting it up and settling it down. And if it goes too far, then this wing will lift back up. Um, with polyhedral, you have a, a lot more area here in the middle that's creating a lift up force. So once it settles into a nice glide, it will be more efficient. And that's why we like polyhedral. The more panels there are, the more efficient it's going to be. And you'll see some gliders that are molded with um, nice curvature and that's the most efficient but we're not going to be doing that here we're just going to be doing polyhedral so our first step is to create a, a blank and um, I just printed out a wing here on a sheet of paper and then I transferred it to balsa wood and I cut it out um, and now this is going to be my bottom and I've already gone ahead and sanded my airfoil now this is the top into this side here Um, and then the next thing I'll want to do is to cut it. And so I'll just find my knife here. Find a knife. And we'll go ahead and cut that out. That's a nice hard piece of wood. Okay, so now I have all my panels cut out, and then I'm just going to remove the uh, paper from off the top. And um, if you watch my other videos, um, I use a low-tack spray adhesive on the back of the paper to apply it to the wood, and it just peels right off. Okay, now making a polyhedral wing by just gluing them together like this is going to be pretty difficult because you want to make sure that the angle all the way across is uniform so that when it does settle into a glide, um, one side is not higher than the other one because if one is higher, then it's going to cause the rocket to keep rolling and you don't want that. So what we need to do is to create a jig that will hold our wing in the correct shape while we're gluing it up. And this is what I made. And it's pretty easy to do. Um, first I want to, I created um, an image, a line. The line length here is the, the width of this first panel. So I made two of them and I, I cranked these over. Um, they're actually eight degrees from, or from horizontal. So that one's eight degrees up. And then my next panel is also eight degrees up. And by doing eight degrees all the way across, um, you can choose a different angle if you want. You can, um, a little bit higher angle will give you more dihedral, um, which means it will settle into a glide better and quicker, but it will be less efficient, so it will come down a little faster. Um, eight degrees gives me a pretty good, you know, kind of a middle of the road type of thing. 
Um, and then I just created an outline, transferred it to cardboard, made two of them, glued them together with some gussets. And so now um, when I glue this wing up, um, it will, will settle in nicely right here like that, if I get it in the right spot. Um, so you're going to need this. And also you're going to need a sanding guide uh, because, um, and we did this before in one of our previous videos, and you can go to the Apogee website and look at our previous videos on how to bevel uh, fins. And basically we'll, I showed you how to make that. And I need a, a, nice, a nice flat edge from a table um, so I can show you how to do this really quick again. Um, so this is, this is now my top edge. Um, I want to take this top edge like this, put it on my table, slide it forward so that it just hangs over the edge. And then I'll take a sanding block and sand it like this. Don't want to take off too much and then do the other side. And you're going to want to do this to all the panels on your wing. Okay, so they're all sanded. I'll put them back in the correct order here. Stand out of the way. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my jig. I'm going to take the first two middle panels and I'm just going to test fit them. And if we sanded correctly, we should have a really tight gap. And that, the reason we want a tight gap is because it's stronger. The, the, there's no gaps in there. We're going to have a really tight joint, make a nice strong wing. Um, and then I'm going to take some super glue. And I'm going to join these together. It doesn't take much. Using the edge of the tip to smooth it out. Get that off. And then we'll just bring them together. And we can use some accelerator if we're in a hurry. And I always like to wipe that off too. All right, so there's my first one. And you can tell how good you sanded by looking at the back. Um, I got a little bit of a gap right there, but it's not bad. And then we can take our next panel and glue that up too. This one's going to go right here. That one looks better. I got a little bit of glue that oozed out, so I'm just going to wipe that off. I want this as smooth as possible. And I'll just do the final one over here. Okay, so our, our wing has been glued up, and I'll take it off there, and we can look at the bottom. That's a really nice joint right there. Uh, this one's got a little bit of a gap. That means that I didn't sand all the way, um, but that's okay. It's pretty strong in this point. Um, and we're going to want to head and sand it. And this one still has the accelerator on it, so I'm going to switch to this other wing over here. And... Now, our next step is we're going to take some uh, fiberglass cloth, and I've cut it into some strips. We're going to glue that on there, but fiberglass doesn't like to go around really sharp corners, and even this is a sharp corner, so I want to 
just lightly sand that to make sure it's nice and clean and smooth and do all those joints. A little harder on the top side. Be careful when you're sanding this part because right at this point the wing is not as strong as it's going to be once we get our fiberglass on. Now you'll also want to go ahead and round off these edges, the, the leading edge. I hadn't done that because I had that paper on here and I wasn't able to round that off. But this is the time that you would go ahead and round that off. Especially where those joints are because we're going to put that fiberglass on there. Okay. Let me get all that dust out of the way. Now, I wish I had some uh, plastic to put over my table, but I don't. So I'll just use this. And I'm going to want to take the fiberglass cloth. I want to test fit it. Uh, cut it to the right length. All right. And I want to do this for each of the joints. It's going to hang over a little bit, but that's fine. Just take any of the whiskers, peel those off right now. Go right in the middle. So now we're going to use um, super thin CA glue. And this stuff is going to kick off really fast. Uh, I'm just going to see how that wicks right into those fibers really nice. Okay, just like that. And I'm just getting off any of the excess glue. Um, so we got one side done and then we'll do the same with the other side. It has a lot of whiskers on it. If I had plastic here, I would take the plastic and push down on it um, to, to smooth out the glue. I don't have plastic with me. I've done that. Just a little plastic bag will work just fine. A little sandwich bag. Okay, so now my eyes are watering because this is kicking off um, and I don't have a fan here in the room. Usually I would blow that away. Um, so once this cures up and I can kick it off really fast. So now the, the, the super glue is basically cured. Um, I can go ahead and, and sand the fiberglass now this you want to do outside and you want to wear a particle mask so that you're not breathing the dust because you don't want to be breathing any of the, the whiskers and you don't want them in your lungs. So I'm just going to hold off on that for right now. But at this point, we got a really rock solid joint right there. And then you're going to want to do that to the other ones too. So that is how you make a polyhedral wing like this one right here. Uh, my name again is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Please come and visit our website. We're at www.apogeerockets.com.